not much of a specimen. Are you okay? Good job, everyone! Professor Sage, it's Colette's angel toxicosis. I see. Let's rest here for today. <sighs> What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. What? Everyone, I have something to say. Huh? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. All right, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? No, but you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveron. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silveron. That's Tetheala, my world. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other. But they do, in fact, exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. As a result, one world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Wait, so right now Silverond is... Yeah. Silveron's mana is flowing to Tetheala. Therefore, Silveron is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel can't survive in Silveron either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks a seal, the mana flow reverses, and the Summon Spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. 
I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveron? You can say that, but your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveron, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? I want to know too. Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? The best thing we can do right now is to save Silveron from its current crisis. What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desaiyans? Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desaiyans. And the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But mana is even more important to life than water. Without it, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient Magi technology was lost? Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue the way they are now, Silverant will eventually lose its mana just as it lost its Magi technology, and be destroyed. Colette? R... E... M... I? Ah! You're trying to spell something, right? I'll try asking Remiel... if there's a way to save the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. Sheena! When that time comes, I may fight back because I love Sil. Varant, too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you?
not much of a specimen. Light Motor! No way! Sonic, how about that?
finally down to the last seal. Let's split up for tonight. But don't go outside the village, understood? Yup. Got it. We'll be leaving in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. You want to thank me? Don't worry about it. Despite knowing what your future holds, this is all I can do for you. No, it's okay. Let's talk for a bit. You can write. The world regeneration. It's almost time. I'm sorry? Why are you apologizing? This is the end, and yet I can't even speak. I know that's weird. You dork, that doesn't matter. No matter what happens to you, you're still you. Even if you become an angel, even if you become like marble, I won't ever think you're weird. Ever. Anyway, I'm the one that has to apologize. Even though I promised I'd make you that gift before our journey ended, I kept thinking we still had a ways to go. I never even got close to finishing it. I'll wait forever. Even after I become an angel, I'll keep on waiting. You can give it to me any time. Okay, this time I'm really going to make it, no matter how long it takes. Can I ask you one last thing? Are you sure you won't regret this? Are you sure you want to become an angel? The truth is, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I would be too. But if giving up my life as a human means that Silverant will be reborn, then it's almost like my life is spreading out to fill the entire world. When I think about it like that, I'm okay. You're strong, Colette. <sighs> the wind's pretty cold. Let's go back to the inn. Uh, sorry. That's right, you can't feel it. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? That was Kratos, wasn't it? Where's he going? You'll have to continue watching over Lloyd for me. <laughs> I have things I must do. In my place, I need you to... Thank you. Uh, I was nothing. But who was that? I would imagine it's that assassin. He managed to get away, but I gave him an injury he'll not soon forget. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, perhaps. Let's get back to the inn. Everyone's probably up. Yeah. Lloyd. Hmm? What is it? Don't die. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's up all of a sudden? Don't worry about it. How can he tell me not to worry after saying something like that? What's this? There's some strange letters carved into it. <laughs> 